Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for May 30th, 2023, from Proverbs chapter 22, verse 19. That your trust may be in the Lord. I have made them known to you today, even to you. Now, this verse continues that focus upon the purpose of God's word, which is so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Savior of the world. This invitation is for you, and it comes from God's holy word. Verse 20, have I not written for you 30 sayings of counsel and knowledge? It's interesting that the author here writes 30 sayings of counsel and knowledge. And if you take a look at how many verses are in these chapters of Proverbs, you may find that a lot of these chapters end at around verse 30. There is a, maybe a verse or two discrepancy. It depends on how you want to look at the Hebrew. But basically, the author here is saying, I have given you God's word of life for the purpose of believing and trusting in God. And it's done simply in just these 30 verses. Verse 21, to make you know what is right and true, that you may give a true answer to those who sent you. So the purpose of these 30 words is that you may know right from wrong and be able to teach others right from wrong. In today's world, this is especially needed because we live in a world where the world is constantly changing the definitions of good and evil to its own devices. But God's word does not change. God's definitions of good and evil do not change. So how do we know the truth? Not by listening to the words of the world, but to, by listening to God's holy word, which brings us life for eternity. Verse 22, do not rob the poor because he is poor or crush the afflicted at the gate. Again, another verse reaffirming the need to take care of the poor and if I may add the widow and the orphan because as the next verse indicates, verse 23, for the Lord will plead their cause and rob of life those who rob them. So you could say that the poor are here put into our presence as a little bit of a test from God. What are we gonna do when we see someone in need? Not necessarily referring to only people who stand on the street corner holding a cardboard sign. Yes, they are poor, but there are also other poor and other people that God places in our lives, and are we going to help them or are we going to turn our back on them? Does God's love and generosity first come to us and then does it flow from us to those around us? That is the test. Verse 24, make no friendship with a man given to anger, nor go with a wrathful man. There's a reason why the Bible reminds us not to go with a wrathful man or a person given into anger. Why? It's going to rub off on us, as the next verse then indicates, lest you learn his ways and entangle yourself in a snare. So St. Paul reminds us in the New Testament to get rid of all anger, rage, malice, bitterness, and wrath for a reason. These are not the ways of God. But the, these are ways of the world. So if we want to follow the ways of the world, we ultimately will be pushing out the Holy Spirit and we will lose our faith and trust in God. God's peace and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.